Hey, I'm the Catholic Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode 36. After winning the national championships and now wearing that national champions jersey, we are partaking in the Österreich Rundfahrt. And stage one here is a time trial. It is just a prologue. It's 700 meters. And we came in with a 75 prologue rating. So uh, we're eight seconds down. We did well. We, we maximized what we could do as a rider right from the start and timed that well, but just I don't have very good prologue rating. That was 100% prologue, so uh, we're not in a bad place. We've got one punchy and two climbing stages in this eight-stage race. The rest are all sprints, so I'll see you on our first of the first and only punchy stage of this one. Stage four, final 15 kilometers. Down to just four riders left here. I am the leader, but I'm not the only leader that we have. I think Carmar Carmargo Camargo is uh, a decent puncher. He's in the top ten favorites. I'm not. But with a plus two race day condition, I'm by far our strongest chance. And of course, I'm the overall GC hope that we have for this one. But they're not thinking about the stage today. They think I can get through and not lose time. My problem, though, you can see, though, is every tenth of a K, it's switching between Alves and Tolman on who is riding with me. So I don't have control over my teammate currently, and that really sucks because I have a fantastic chance otherwise. 5K to go, and I'm in perfect condition uh, as we prepare for the final climb of the day. Tolman, Tolman, are we going to... Can I uh, follow you now? He is an 80-80 today. Wow, nice. Uh, let's set him to a 90, and let's follow. It's sticking with him at the moment. He was the guy for the entirety of the day until this little switcheroo thing that's been going on for like 20k now. Uh, until that time, I had Tolman and Barbosa working for me. So Tolman leading me out, getting me out front. Two and a half k to go. It is very, very steep towards the finish on this one, so we don't want to go too hard too early but you can see i'm strong enough to keep up with tolman and tolman working really well already bringing it down to 1.7k now 1.5 so i think a 90 is very good effort while uh, we can also use now our leader status with him 1k okay now he can speed it up and he's got me following behind he's gonna keep plugging away 500 meters okay now i'm gonna make my push for the line 400 meters Going clear, going clear, sprinted out for the finish. This is going to be three straight wins for me, including the two national championship races, and it looks like I've got Tolman destined for second place, and I do. Jojen Garcia takes third, Hindley is a Gira, fourth and fifth. Time gaps? Mm, probably not, but 10 second time bonus. That's going to be welcome. Whew. Okay. Unexpected, very unexpected, but very welcome. Time gaps, numerous, considerable time gaps. I get a six second gap to Shadrach. I get uh, nine seconds to Garcia, 13 to Hindley, Izagir at 17, Monique at 21, and 25 to the following group that Cam Camargo brings up the rear of. Pino at 36 and then 40 seconds to pre-stage uh, race leader Michael Matthews who had won both of the sprint stages. That's going to open things up a lot more than I expected. That puts me into the race lead. Tolman two seconds down in second place so we have a 1-2 right now. Garcia in third, Hindley, Zagira so that is your top five but yeah okay extra bonuses. I mean, Matthew's at 31 seconds down when I thought all we were going to be doing was closing the gap by about 10 seconds. I may be in yellow, but I'm seeing red, as in the entire team is green on their race day condition with the exception of moi. <laughs> I have a minus one race day condition, but when you look down at my stats, it's no biggie. Uh, I have three negative attributes None of them relevant on a stage like this. Prologue, downhill, Baradour ratings, minus ones. 
and somehow I still have a plus one to recovery and my mountain rating. Meaning we very much are in with a shout. Also, I am in full leadership status now for my team. And I'm going to prepare us for what is to come. And what is to come is, well, the exact order we're in. But I don't want 70 ratings. That's just not going to cut it. Uh, 20k, though, to climb. That's pretty hefty. So uh, I'm going to set an 80. And we are just going to start plugging away, making things hard on these guys. I was already in order. Uh, Barbosa was riding just behind me, following while well, Jones was offering protection. But Jones, out of energy, Powers has been doing the bulk of the work to uh, pull back the breakaway. They are down to a minute. So he did good with that, though he's been out of energy for a while. And Barbosa, we're going to immediately get him towards the front normally would not have the ratings to do what he's about to do but he is fairly decent today we need to get him much further out front though where the other guys i want at about an 80 he's gonna have to push a bit harder than that uh, you can see 85 is not even doing it he's got to push even harder he's just gonna have to bury himself to try to get out front he's not gonna spend very long out front but uh, that's what it's gonna take tolman apparently lost ground a little bit no we're good we're good Camargo and Tolman feeling it in the legs just a little bit from Barbosa's effort. You can see only a little bit, and it is enough to get him out front. 125, chasing one. Barbosa working hard enough that he is splitting off some riders down to 121 now. We expect Alves to do a lot better That's in those regards. And Barbosa no is going to get into this flat line. section momentarily. I'm going to keep him going at a 99 until we get... To the next part of the climb it's going to allow my other guys to recover slightly it's going to let dsm back up beside us we'll have to watch out make sure they don't come along too hard but him staying at a 99 is doing just fine 109 okay now alves is going to have to take over in just a moment as long as these guys are ready to come up and they're starting to so on to alves the line is not far off and the riders are really going to have to hang in there on this climb Okay, let him drop back. Alves takes over. Alves, a better climber, at an 80, is doing enough. We want him to do enough. That's going to be the key point. We need him to stay out front, not DSM. DSM wants to control. They have the other top climber in Hindley. Hindley, 81 mountain rating, not far below me. 13k to go now. I'm feeling this? Wow. Everybody's... How am I feeling this that bad? That's really surprising. Back off a little bit, please. Down to 67. Got to keep an eye on my position. We'll watch from Tolman so we can see a little bit up front and behind as I get caught behind a few DSM riders, but we'll make our way through this, okay? There you go. Down to 63. Gotta be able to see where I'm at, I think. I don't want to zoom out. I want to keep that nice angle for you, but uh, we're seeing a push from Garcia. How's Garcia looking? Wow. He is looking really freaking good. Of course, I am on a minus... Minus one, but uh, Alves, speed up a little bit, please. Are they attacking with him, or are they pulling him back? Ten kilometers remaining. All right, being patient, using the teammates, Camargo. Bring it back up. Okay, we're good. We are good. At least Tolman and I, yes. Tolman and Carmago not gonna last much longer. We only get to use the uh, last longer effect once. 9k to go. Down to 25 riders. Down to 17 riders. Alright. Camargo. Go along. Okay. And that's that. We need to follow... Hindley. Okay, proceed for just a second. Oh, I lost control of both? Really? 
Why? Because I hit follow attack? That's silly. Okay, three riders go in clear. But very little energy, and I get dropped? Really? You don't have enough to hang with them? There we go. Back in a group of three. And back dropped again. 46 seconds clear of just three chasing riders. This one not looking so good. This negative race day condition. He's 6k to go. The gaps behind are opening. Let's see if we can outclimb these guys or something. I don't know. 85 is the rate to go. I think I'm going to have to accept a small time loss ahead. Because I don't want to lose anything behind. Just go 99. Is going arrow going to do anything for me? Probably not. 15k, 16k. I'm... 141 heart rate. In such percentages that the strongest can Can't give me uh, one heartbeat to recover a little and finish things off? Guess not. It's worth a shot. 140, not recovering. There's Garcia. Henley went clear. Clearly on better race day condition than I am. I still have very low stamina, very low resistance, and not a whole lot of support from the team. 200 meters. We're waiting for the tail who <sighs> Third place, Pino fourth. Not a great result. Can't win them all. Uh, that will obviously drop us out of the lead, but that does not mean we're out of contention. Because if I have a positive race day condition tomorrow, when my fitness peak begins, because technically it started today, but it's not going to actually take effect until tomorrow I triggered it as it's now available to trigger uh, tomorrow I should be looking at a plus two plus three you add that in and we've got every chance to get back the time move back up the order uh, team had no objective here so being in third place is not going to be a terrible spot to be in but 207 that's that's a pretty big time gap so we're at 156 down overall on Hindley, 43 seconds ahead. So I've got some ground to cover to get to both of them. 320 to Pino, plenty of gap to the other followers. It's a three-man race now. Entering the final 27 kilometers of this one. This climb, not quite as long as the other one. Uh, but today we do have a plus three race day condition, though... Big, hefty, fast chase has taken some out of the legs. And as I'm not very good on the flat, it's taken some out of my legs. So that part's, yeah, not great. Uh, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to get Barbosa staying right where he's at. Uh, going as hard as he can. Infinite relay. And then we're going to get Carmago to follow him instead of me. And then I will follow them. Let's see how that goes. Will they go forward? They will. Good. And then that'll set us up for the climb to come. And then as soon as we get up there, Camargo will take over. In fact, we can do that right about now. Now I'm already in line, so set him up. He's a little bit punchy. Bring him on forward. We do want it to be hard today because if we are ha going to have any chance of winning, we got to break away on these guys early. And I'm a strong enough climber that even if I don't have enough energy to go all the way to the end, I'm not going to fall back too far. And I don't have to worry about this my position being that much in jeopardy. So Camargo, we want him to uh, push on. Alves, Tolman, and I am there, so we're good. And he's going to take over at the front. Just two riders left in the break. Jansen's hour. They're both being brought back in now, so that came back group. really quick from where it was. Tolman a little bit tired today as he does not have the really nice race day condition that he had previously, but he's in the top 10. Alves does look a little bit stronger than him right now. Kind of rather swap these two around, but I don't know. It's that GC thing. Tolman's in a better place. But we'll keep watching. Uh, hello, we just split the field. Izagira is with us. We split the field. We are 30 seconds ahead of the peloton. The group is slowly thinning out. 
out due to such a frantic pace. We are 30 seconds clear. And is it, I'm not worried about Yanni Zagira. 35 seconds clear. 38 seconds. 11k to go. And three teammates with me. And Zagira who's not threatening. 41 seconds. Gap is slightly growing. We have a shot at this. We have a shot at this because those guys are already behind. Okay, Camargo, Camar, his name is so hard for me to say. Camargo, done. On to Alves, 75 mountain, 79 hills. He would be better doing a little mix, but we want to sustain this. Is Aguirre still with us? Camargo has been dropped, 26 second gap. Do not want to let them get back on, so we've got to stay at a pace that's going to keep them at bay. Okay, let's use the uh, teammate bury himself thing with Alves, so he lasts a little bit longer here. Tolman also fading. 35 second gap, so it's opened back up a little bit. We're going to slow down just slightly. And they are both out of energy. It's up to me. 6.8k. One rider has gone clear, and that is Hindley. Hindley has attacked the peloton. And he's already caught my teammates. Neither of them working. He's left that behind. 25 seconds. 6k to go. We're into the last five kilometers. 35 second gap. Hindley being clear is good for me because that means he and I are both essentially doing the same thing right now. And I've left his gear up behind. Slow down a little bit. 25 second gap. That is to Izagira. I've opened up a minute gap on Hindley. Use my gel while I still have some energy. Hindley finally catches Izagira and it's a minute. The gap is a minute. Okay, now we're out of energy. So now we just go 99 the rest of the way. Minute and a half. If they're out of energy, which it looks like they are, they are falling back. Six chasers who are over two minutes behind. I've still got a chance to win this race. However, it is awfully close. I don't know if I've got enough of a gap on Hindley to take over the race lead. I definitely have second place. I definitely have the stage. I don't know if we've made enough of a gap, but he looks like he's out of energy too. And I should be able to climb that little bit faster, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, the gap's down to 23 seconds as three chasers come back at him. Stage victory. Makes two here. Hindley, Bevan, Rubio, Izagira, Monake, Pino, Thalman. Okay, well, definitely down to a top two because the other guy, not even in the top 14 on the stage. Garcia. Still no sign of Garcia. Garcia is not even in the top 20. I gain a 10 second time bonus. Hindley is going to gain a 6 second time bonus for second place. So I only pick up an additional 4 seconds there. Ooh, minute 10? Really? Boy, he was going backwards and he pulled back half a minute in the last 300 meters? Okay. Well, in that case, I definitely won't have the overall race lead. We will be second place by 42 seconds. Yeah, he pulled back a half minute. All I needed to do was take another 10 seconds, and somehow he took out half a minute. So, it's second. That's okay. That is okay. Uh, that negative race state condition really not helping me on that last stage. I get a slight positive here, and I win comfortably. That's all it takes. That's, that's that little bit that we're missing, because remember, playing on the hardest difficulty, you are always going to have your opponents getting a bonus. To their stamina and resistance that's 
that's what the difficulty level difference is. The other attributes play out the same. They get a bonus on on stamina and resistance, and we're already starting with a deficit there, meaning it's that much harder to, to keep everybody else at bay. And you could see that with, with Hindley. He was climbing at a pace ever so slightly slower than me, but then at the end, he somehow still had a little bit of energy left, made a little push, and gained 30 seconds in the last few hundred meters. That's a, that's a big difference. Very big difference. If we were together, he would have won the stage. Tolman, still in 8th though, so top 10 for him. Alva is 13th. Camargo is 15th. Overall, the field, not great. Right, 421 to Rubio. Very much not on the same level, though a, a good climber. Pino as well, 79. And th these guys are definitely no joke, uh, but not quite as good of the two of us at the top. But Hindley definitely had the race day condition both days, or I only had it work in one day. Into the final 50k of the final stage of this race. Obviously, I still sit in second place and some ways off Henley, so he's got the win pretty well wrapped up. However, with this punchy finish, I have a chance at not one, not two, but three distinctive jerseys. Literally every jersey other than the win, and then I could be in second place overall. If I get to the top first, if I win this stage, I will claim enough points to hang on to and win the King of the Mountains, which I am first place in right now. And only two riders have any chance of taking that away from me, and that is Hindley. Uh, and one other rider could match me on that one, and it's been a guy in the breakaway, so I don't expect him to actually uh, contend. And then the points classification that I sit third place in just a handful of points down. Unfortunately, though... Uh, the team wants me to finish in the top three on the stage today. They've got me their leader overall. They've got me their GC guy. And yet, despite all of those factors, they've given me a single rider in support today. And that single rider has decided that he's going to go get water now. Uh, making that decision at about 13 and a half K to go before the finish. I don't know if he's going to make it back up here in time. So I have no support for the final climb, which means my chances of winning it, very slim. I could still win the points classification even if I don't win the stage. I could still win the King of the Mountains even if I don't win the stage. But my odds of doing so are much less. With Barbosa, come on, Barbosa, I'm taking the left-hand side so you can, you know, come up beside me. And give me water, give me water. Oh, he's still got to get past Car Camargo. 4K to go. Uh, let's go ahead and gel up now. Let's also go 85 and start moving forward. I will come up behind him very soon. But he's burning all of his energy to try to catch C Camargo. The Alpes and Fenix rider just blocked me off. And with 3.5K to go, uh, we're seeing a hefty tempo that uh, a lot of riders... Are, are not going to be able to maintain and they're going to slip back pretty quick uh, we can sneak where is sneak there is sneak okay uh, 11 riders have gone clear is that breakaway riders no that is the breakaway that we have just not quite come back at yet I've got myself in a very good position with 1.8k to go but those 11 riders are still not caught 1.4k to go the here's the push 800 meters Okay, we are five riders clear, but Hindley is in front of me right now. The breakaway is going to claim victory on the day. Verveki taking the stage. Good punchy rider to get that one. Uh, Garcia, who lost a ton of time, somehow finishes fourth here. Matthews was in that. That's a lot of good riders. I leave everybody else behind and get 10th on the stage. Hindley is 11th. Mankey's 12th. Uh, Pino, Thalman, those were the other guys that had gone clear with me. You can see we left everybody behind quite comfortably in that one. Uh, just could not keep up with the pace of that climb. But the breakaway, never caught, ends up hanging on. So I don't know if I gain enough points out of that to move up in the points classification. It should be enough to hang on. Verveki was not uh, the other guy who was six points behind me with six points available at the top of that so KOM should be mine under 25s definitely mine 
I will have gained a few seconds, I think, on uh, on Hindley, but not enough to take it, to take the jersey away from him. Uh, yeah, he was six seconds down, so I gained six seconds on Hindley. And there you go, 36 seconds down overall again, that half minute making a massive, massive difference in this one. Points, oh, Hindley, one point ahead. He was, he was, I was third. I was third. Stewart was the other one that I was catching. I almost caught Hindley because he finished one spot behind me. Points difference on this stage. Yeah, I get six, he gets five. I was two points down. <laughs> if we were higher up the order, that would have mattered. KOM, we do get that one. That was the guy. He almost ended up doing what he needed to do. Dang. He got four points. He finished second. Under 25, four minutes clear. Team. We got the team classification, so that's good. So I get second overall. I get second in the points. I win the KOM and the under 25s. Uh, I climbed first of the peloton on that final stage, but not enough to actually win the stage. I do win two stages, though. So it's a good race. Not quite the overall victory that I would have wanted, but I, I'm still at liberty to my race day condition. If it's bad, it could be a rough day. And we've seen that more than once. And we see it again here today. Well, not today, but on what stage five, where we had a negative one race take condition. Didn't lower my stamina and resistance. They were neutral. But I'm a kind of rider who I need a little bonus to that. A little bonus to that. And I can win. I can win comfortably against most. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. 69 points, that's almost enough for the next level. The next level is not going to matter anything. It's the level after that will count. That's still, that's a good result. <sighs> Qinghai Lake, the next one. 99k, that's one big mountain to get over. That's one big mountain to finish on, 59k. So we have a little something for that coming up. That could be an interesting one. I, of course, have my fitness peak through this. I'm a Kathleen Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.